The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi, folks. Basil Chapman on this Friday, September the 17th. I had a lot of questions come in. I was away yesterday. I had a lot of questions come in. I'm going to try to deal with them one at a time. I first run, I'm just going to run the uh, indexes down, down 123, cannot get above the nine period exponential moving average and hold. Uh, it's it's gone, attempted to get there uh, four or five times out of the last uh, 10 sessions. Just can't hold. Down again, 125, 34,626. You can see this pattern that I call the dreaded H. Today's technical Friday, so we're going to do some of the technicals here. What is the dreaded H? It's just a real simple thing. I have three patterns that I look at all the time. Straight line up or down, cup formation, arch formation, or a combination of one and two or one and three. Straight line down, arch formation, we call that the dreaded H because if it takes out that left side low, uh, there's a problem. Well, we saw the dreaded H right there, took out the left side low of 34,690. I went to 34,510, and even now we're at 34,633 below that left side low. This is an issue. Um, it's going to be it's going to be a problem. And I thought that the on-balance volume was getting oversold. This is the only one that I really look at as oversold and overbought. And uh, it hasn't reflected any strength at all. I thought there was a little bit of residual strength to just allow for a bounce. Hasn't happened. Uh, it did happen yesterday. It hasn't happened today. So within that context, what I say to subscribers on Wednesday that I was expecting that maybe we have a kind of a doji candle, a narrow close doji candle uh, on Thursday and then come down on Friday, or we just come down immediately, Well, we came down immediately and we're following that through to the downside. This is impacting, this is Friday, so this is going to be the second, if we close anywhere around here, uh, let's see, below the 14, weekly 14-period 14 exponential moving average, uh, let's see right here, of 34,794. We're 140 points below that. This will be the second week that we've closed under it. We've been under it before, ever since that breakout to the upside back in October. That was in October, the week of the 6th of November. Um, we haven't, we haven't, we haven't gone underneath the 14-period moving average for more than a day or two, and most of the time we close immediately above it. And the one time that we did look, it looked very ugly on 33,271, the week of the 18th of June. Wow! The next week we uh, retested successfully, and kaboom! It went straight up and has been up ever since. Now all of a sudden, this is the second week, and this will be the first time that we, if we if there is a close below that 34,700s area, this is the second time that we've got a weekly close, and that's a, that's a sign to say I have to now really consider that the weekly chart is about to give its first sell signal. I'm not saying that yet. We've got to wait for the end of the day. The day is young. So we've got a G stash C in the Chapman Wave notation. We've got a peak D potential. If there is no high, new all-time high above 35,631 in the month of September, this is going to be this is going to be an important month. Let me tell you. And let me go to the S&P. Why is it an important month? Because look at the S&P. Look at let's go backwards. Let's look. Oh, I did. Yeah, I'll come back to it. This is still leg B. In the monthly chart, in the Chapman Wave methodology, what we're always looking for from an identifiable low, you want to count at least four higher peaks. I alphabetize them, peak A, next one's peak B. Higher high is a peak C. It's not a higher high close. It's just a higher high. Leg D, and it can even go E, F, and G to seven higher peaks. But it's at that fourth highest peak that other things can happen. That's where you have to do an analysis. And here we are. Only in leg B, there's no other way to count the, the monthly chart, and that's still a big positive for 2021 into 2022. And then we've got to be really careful. All right, this is a peak D in the weekly chart. This is the second week we're underneath the all-time high, 45, 45.85, made with the two doji candles at that uh, peak G. This is a right arm extension in one of the techniques that I've discussed over the years. It's not like a rogue wave. Rogue wave is a single, you get a peak, the, which is a D, E, or F, and then you start to pull back, 
and the technical start to fail. And if you're short, you're absolutely correct technically in being short where all of a sudden there's a news event, just something happens. Oh, I had this already earlier in the week, a rogue wave, perfect rogue wave key. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Mm. K-E-Y. Did I lose all that? Oh, I did all the work. And then I had to shut down suddenly. Oh, I got to do remember every single minute of the day. I got to click the save. As long as I can click save, it doesn't matter if I save overnight because what happens is when I come back again, if I'm knocked off, and in fact, I got knocked off a little earlier, um, Comcast was down and was right in the middle of a trade. I thought, oh, my God. Yeah, thank goodness everything uh, came back just in time. <laughs> so um, A, B, uh, uppercase. A, uppercase on the way up, lowercase on the way down, notation. C, D. So here you are, you come to the D, you try to retest, you fail, make a V-shaped pattern. And then all of a sudden, you see how the technicals are fading right here? This is key, K-E-Y is key core, so I think is the energy sector. And then what happens is you can't get a down arrow because the MACD didn't close, it didn't cross negative. So I usually put a plus sign. I will start off probably with a, with a down arrow and then I'll have to change and say, no, 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 that's a plus sign. Be ready for the next peak to maybe make a top. Well, what happened is in key, which is uh, trading on the 13th of August at 20, 20 20.99, it pulls back all the way to 19.47. So it's a, uh, you know, 10% correction. And then it rallies back, but it only goes to 20.98, a penny lower. That's that V-shaped failure. But if you look at the technicals, the technicals are saying that there was some strength, but real weakness in the stochastic. And that says you should go down even further. Well, if you thought, okay, this is the time to short, you would have been absolutely correct, except for that one news event that did what? It had a sudden spike. You remember my expression for a rogue wave is that you're at the beach, as the sign says, high tide at noon. So at 12 or 5, you think, okay, tide's going down. I'm going to put my either my deck chair or whatever it is. I'm walking towards the edge of the rock. I'm going to sit and relax, 21-11. I'm going to relax. And you say you put your dark glasses on, you got suntan lotion on. Everything's just cool. When all of a sudden, out of the blue, cuss Flash! There's this one wave that didn't see the sign at the beach that said high tide at noon, and at 12:06, boom, everything's wet. And but you look around, you wipe your glasses, and say, "What? What's going on? Tide's going down." That's exactly that's your rogue wave right there. So I thought I'd, I had this all notated and everything. I'll do it again. You see, it didn't take me long. Rogue wave. In fact, what we try to call it is a Chapman wave, rogue wave. Why? Because um, I, as far as I know, I'm the only one that's ever discussed this. I've been discussing it here for 20 years at least. So what happens is, look, the MACD then continued down. Stochastic failed. It didn't even get above 80% on that rally to the to the fractional V-shaped high. Then it pulls back, and you would have been correct in being sure. And what happens in this particular instance is that you are correct. But because you've used up the energy, a rogue wave often has a very sharp pullback it doesn't mean that it has to continue down. It just says you're probably going back to where you were. When This is what happens. It goes just above the previous high long enough for the shorts to sell. I better cover. And the people who got out saying, why did I get out? It looks fantastic. And that same bar crashed. Back to the last time. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, so exactly what does Keycore do? So I looked it up, and what does it do? It's in the financial services, the bank. It says right here. Keycore is a bank holding company. The company is a bank-based financial services company, which operates through its subsidiary, Key Bank National. I like, I, I, there are certain periods of time during market uh, moves that I really like holding companies. So this is doing very nicely. Ever since it made that high in the 21 area, it's, it dropped sharply into the low 19s, and now it's trading at 20.90. So it's a, 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 just a very quick peak A, then a peak B, in the weekly chart, the leg C, holding quite nicely. Would I buy it now? At this particular point, we are just really sparse on our long positions, and we do have short positions, which are working out well. We had one that was just fabulous. And then yesterday, our low, our stop, was in fact the low of the day. I tried to get it on a pullback today. I, I was The choice, of subscribers, was to split it up and say, let's just get it right here in the morning, it's below where we originally entered, and then we can add to it on low. And then I thought, no, surely with uh, one of the one of the stocks in the sector being so strong, there's just enough energy to maybe move higher. Well, I think now we've missed it. Now it's up already four uh, percent. Ah, it's okay. If it's going to move, we can get in. This is still early in the game. A uh, question I had, NCLH, let me just do this, NCLH. Uh, a couple of things I do want to get to. So the NCLH, yeah, it's a good day today, but NCLH, which is, no, oh, this is a Norwegian cruise line, is it? Yes, Norwegian cruise line. Gosh, I had this and I've had all those airline, the, uh, uh, cruises, cruise ship uh, companies notated over the years. But as I say, when I do have a, a quick shutdown, I sometimes am not able to um, there, quick TD. You know, I think this is in a range. At this particular point, I'm I'm afraid to get into range bound stocks. I'd rather have higher highs and higher lows, because um, you have to wait now because you've got the resist 26.78, 25.78, up 72 cents. Nice move today. Yes, it's in this kind of sector counter sector that says. Maybe the worst is over. Maybe the best is still to come. I just be real careful. If you're in it from lower down, just put in a stop that makes you comfortable. You've got to get to 26, 25. Mm, that's 26, 26, 41, which is a 200 period moving average. That whole area has just been, I'll put this in as a straight line. Look. In fact, no, I won't. I'll put it in as a rectangle.
And you can see that this whole area is resistance. When it starts to trade in the 27s, that's going to be good, I think, for the market and for crew, uh, and Norwegian cruise lines. Um, yeah. So it's interesting. I, I saw something the other day. There's so many fascinating things that are happening in Norway. Um, one is first, certainly the Dan, the uh, the um, is that the art gallery? Yeah, the art gallery is beautiful building with a very slopey uh, kind of a promenade that people can just rest and relax in the sun, the limited sun that they get. But some of the architect and certainly some of the natural sites are just incredible. I was looking at a waterfall the other day. Just fascinating. Anyway, so this is Norwegian Cruise Lines. Um, yes, if you're in it, that's fine. Would I get in right now for for 80 cents and then resistance? I don't think I would like that risk right now. I think it's just trading in a band towards the 20, 26 level, then 24 support. So all I'm looking at is something that's really tossing around within the waves of a um, choppy sideways movement to use uh, the uh, H2O vernacular. Uh, Fang, uh, let's see, F-A-N-G, I don't know if you mean Fang, the uh, stock. Oh, look at that, big move up. This is uh, Diamondback Energy Inc. A, B, C, D, E, is this an F, Doji F? I think I'm gonna call this for now a Doji F. And all I'm gonna say is really a wonderful, wonderful, counter trend move to the larger theme which is uh, in the weekly in the monthly saying it's just had a decimation to the downside going from the 100 uh, about 103 area down to 65 i mean just almost cut in half but this is a nice comeback and it's in an area that i'm going to be following much more closely over the i followed it kind of okay but we haven't got any positions for subscribers so this is an area if you're in it Yes, 83.27 up 3.16 today to 83.23. This is in that oil sector, the oil uh, service sector. I Did I type that in? Oh, I typed it in on the chart. Huh. So let's just do this. OIH, there it is. OIH has, is a better, actually, it's a better chart pattern than the OIH oil service ETF. Let's look at the XOP, which is kind of a mix between oil and natural gas. Natural gas has just had a huge move up. And at a peak, I think they're all getting to some kind of resistance here. Look, let's look at crude oil. Oh, I haven't finished all the charts, right? Crude oil, peak, they all look the same. Although this rally is way more than a 60% from the low of, from the high of 76s down to the low of 61s. That's so 17 points, 50 points. So that's about uh, it's about what 23 percent or something. And now it's had a really nice move to the upside. Yeah, this is an area that I think over the period of the next few weeks is going to be choppy, but probably choppy higher lows and higher highs. That's kind of way I'm looking at it now. But that's just my thinking. I'm going to have to do a lot more work over the weekend. So yeah, Fang, F A M G, Diamondback. Yep, that's it's acting very well right now. A couple of things I need to do as well. I don't even remember where it was. Let me go to the Q Q Q. QQQ down again today, down three. Uh, we, we remain short the QQQ. What we're looking at here is 382.78 on the 7th of July was the high. <clears throat> A few days later, we went short. And, and now what we're looking at is, well, we went short via the three times long, a small position there and the three times long. Uh, that is three times short. You buy it long because you are three times short. Um, this is the SPX, uh, uh, no, the Q, SQQQ. And what we're looking at here at 375, what I see in the next few days, if we're looking at this at 372 or lower, a close below 372, that's really, that's suggesting that the, the daily chart is going to impact the weekly. I think the tide has turned. I've been speaking about this for a while. I believe the tide has turned in all the indices. We waited for the SMHs to make uh, a high, which it did at a peak D. And then there was that sudden move up yesterday, and now it's down four at a peak E at 276.69. I mean, yep, that's, that was a high yesterday. And look at this leg. I'm going to call this a leg F for now in the weekly chart. Nothing else. I don't need to do anything about it. Um, and leg E slash B monthly chart. We'll see what happens here, but I can just tell you the SMHs when they start to when and if they start to trade under un trade under 265, that's going to suggest watch out. This is going to be a, a deeper and longer consolidation than people are thinking right now. Uh, we are so used to just the con consolidations where the buy the dips mentality wins over. 
I, my assessment is we've got a little bit of a different scenario at this particular point. IWM, the Russell 2000, still very weak. Um, but holding in this pattern a little bit like the Dow, holding not too bad, 221.50, way off the 229.89, uh, or a high that was made on the uh, sec 2nd of September. The all-time high is at 234.53. So this is really way off that. Uh, what we're looking at is uh, IWM is holding a little bit better, but if you look at the weekly chart, it's still stuck in a range. Just as we go to the break, I'll go to gold. Has it improved yet? No, it's worse. It's down 6 at 17.50. There's the one to one to the downside. Remember this falling X formation, which I've made. We've been discussing it for weeks ago to the X. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back and looking at the uh, E-mini. This is the December contract. Finally, actually, I even had a trade on the uh, September the uh, September one this morning. Then got out. Fortunately, got out before the uh, shutdown of my. Uh, internet service by Comcast as they were fixing and repairing something. So yeah, what I said was right here, it was at 44.36 and I said the E-mini, uh, let me, what did I say? I said uh, to in the den, here comes the bounce attempt that has to hold over 4.444 for 35 minutes to bring in more buyers. Uh, under 4.428, sellers increase. This is a cuspy moment. And we're right here. We're going to be see it. We had a peak E in the two-minute chart, a peak C1, C2 in the uh, uh, one-minute chart up there at the highs of the 40. What is it? 44. 
uh, was before there, 44, whatever that was, right there, at least uh, from 928. Uh, that was the high at 44.63.73. We did have a high of 44.72.50 way earlier. So this is tough. I mean, the sellers are there. Um, so, Victor in Paramus, hi, how are you? Oops. You there? I hear you. I hear you. Uh, Victor. Victor, Victor, Victor. All right, well, Victor, give me a yell when you uh, realize that you're on because you want to look at ABCL. Oh, ABCL is ABCL. ABCL. Yeah, hi. So ABCL is there? in fact, uh, uh, what is this? I can't read it. AB uh, Sellers Biologics. Okay, so this is in the bio. This is in the biotech area. Peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D, peak E. And this is a oh, but see this red candle. There was some news relation uh, to uh, to towards whatever in the biotech. You always get this uh, news event, and you suddenly see a spike. If the spike holds, right. it's really good. If the spike doesn't hold, it's not that good. And look what happened. It popped yesterday. It closed at a 19.80. Today it gaps up, screams to 22.63, and now it's at 20. Point uh, oh seven up twenty seven cents. It's only up a dollar thirty six. Do you have a position in this? No, I got rid of it. No, no. Okay, so I'm just going to suggest you because of the, if if you, if you had called me, and it was holding after that that gap to the upside, which was the high of the day twenty two sixty three was both the open and the high, and and you called me and right now as we're speaking at 10 33 in the morning eastern time uh it was trading at 2203 or 2197 mm -hmm. i would have said to you oh i like that they, they're accepting the news that the news is in fact impactable if that's a word towards their bottom line or towards whatever it is that they they do and, and that would be very, I don't like this gift bag. In fact, for, for subscribers to my opening call, we had exactly the same thing this morning. Oh, oh, but you see, this is what you want to see. So we are along a stock called Thermo Fisher Scientific Inc. TMO is the symbol from the 484 level. We're taking two little bits off. And I was deciding what to do uh, last night. And I said, you know what? I like this stock. I don't want to mess around at all. And then what happens, there was a must have been some earnings or a news report, and it opens at 597.06. Yesterday, it's trading at 560. It closed. And then today, it gaps, it gaps up, and it runs all the way to 601.99. How it missed 602 round number, I don't know, but that's where it did. And then, and now look what's happened. This is the candle. Uh, Victor, that you want to see. Look at the way the day's young. You think Sorry, this could be because power. the expirations are not? Yeah, but uh, but you see, you're in the biotech. I'm in a, an area uh, that I've not ever seen the Slimmer Fisher really stick when it comes to options expiration to the uh, to the to some one of the prices. It just sticks at a certain level, round number level. I've not really seen it do that because it's just been on a tear to the upside. But you want to see, look, right now it's up 37.70. I did see it earlier on when I actually first noticed that it had gapped up like this. And it had it was only up 19, but it was still up 19, way above the uh, the low of the day, which is 576.0. I look always look at the round numbers. So I'm just saying to you that in your case, I would ABCL, ABCL. The day is young. If it can come back yeah. towards the 21, it's a 2020. So that's a whole dollar higher. If it's able to close towards the midpoint of the day, I would say to you, wow, this stock is holding very nicely. It, it's not, I wouldn't say it's impervious to the news, the sell, the balances. In fact, I'd say that is really good action. And then what I would say to you is on the next pullback, Towards the twin, towards the 1970, 1950 level. Give me a call and let's look at it together because that's where I think another entry would be. But if it comes back and by the end of the day, it's 
it's really given back most of the gain. In, I, I would not like to see it touch yesterday's high of 19.88 because uh, that'll say, oh, no, this is just a news-related event. You see that so often in the biotechs. I love when the biotech has a kind of a gap and then holds mm -hmm. that gap for about two, three days and still after the gap takes out the previous high. So today's high is 22.63. If in two days' time, now I, I, I'll give it a little bit more. I'll make it as simple as possible. If there is a chance that today's low, whatever it is by the end of the day, becomes the low for Monday, because Monday kind of gaps up and it starts to work its way towards 21, give me a call. Let's look at it again, because that would be good action. Right. But if it starts to pull back right now, I'm going to say wait a little longer. At the moment, I would say the 19, somewhere between maybe between 1950 and 1920, maybe even 1880, on any pullback. That's where I'd like to look at it again because it is making higher highs and higher lows. That's the, the indication of a trend in the daily. It's done that now uh -huh. in the weekly as well. Everything about this technically is saying this is – a nice chart pattern that you want to see. You've got a good eye on this. But I it, to buy it right now, you can see the last time it had a gap, a big gap like this was on the, 7th, the 1st of July. It gaps up, opens at 22.51. That is the high. The low is 20.50. It closes just a few cents above that. And then it just went sailing from 22 down to the low in the 15, 14, 15 area. So <laughs> I don't know if it's going to do that now. All I can say to you is, I like the chart pattern. I don't like the candle right. of today. Have a little patience, but keep it on your list because this is one that's in play, the fact that it's making higher highs and higher lows. So right. not, not just yet. Thank you. Good eye. Thank you. Thanks Bye. for calling. Bye. So, folks, a couple of things I want you to Let me just do this again because I get calls all the time about gaps. How do I treat the gaps? So far, this is perfect for TMO, but it's at an all-time high. That always makes me a little nervous to gap like this at an all-time high with earnings report. But um, it is only in leg C in the weekly chart. And every way I count it, I still only get a leg C. Thermo Fisher Scientific, anyone who lives in Waltham who knows the area, you've on 128, you've been by this building. You've seen it change from, th I think it was called Thermodynamics. I can't remember the name, uh, Greek name, the, the, the CEO from way, way, way back. Wow, he did everything right, just everything. And then it became Thermo Fisher Scientific Inc. Medical Equipment. It's, this is a great company, doing nice at up 37 today. I'll be back in a moment. Dow's down to 137, SP's down 20. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. This good and HVAC failed to take the test of the 4428 level. Ho, 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 ho. Leg D in the in its five minute chart. Uh, I'm going to watch this. This is, this is tough stuff. Uh, let's see. Okay. So, a couple of things I wanted to do here. I haven't got, I haven't finished all my analysis, but I did go to ask about the XL, uh, XL, XLB, which is the SB Select Material Spider Fund. There's the dreaded H pattern, but it goes all the way back to the high that was made, all time high, 89.21. There's the H pattern failure. If you want to learn about these, I have webinars. You can go to one, any one of my webinars. I'm always talking about these dreaded H and very quick peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D, and then whoof, look at that pullback back in in June. Small little move to the upside, going to a D from 80.72, takes out the low of 80 points. It goes to 80.67, 80 makes the lowercase H that goes to a lowercase M pattern. They've been all about patterns over and over. It's human nature. This is what we're looking at. The pattern is a fractal of human nature. It's a fractal of a smaller time frame that looks exactly the same at any time frame. And there it is. And finally makes a low in about the 78 area and rallies sharply in a big arch formation, pulls back from that peak B, little doji candle. Now, I want you to show you something. Normally, what I would do is I would use uh, this one penny difference to say, hey, there's a chance that this is a peak, a phantom, Chapman Wave phantom peak B. This becomes new peak B. This becomes right here uh, on the 11th of, uh, this is XLB, on the 11th of August at 86.58 leg B, at 86.60 leg B, at 86.63 leg B, um, but that's official leg B. Unofficial, it's a C, a peak C1, and then a little bit below it, you get your C2 with fading technicals. You get the dreaded H pattern, and now we're down $1.77 and 81.27. And in the weekly chart, see what I mean? From the daily chart, you go to the weekly chart, and lo and behold, we've got the dreaded H pattern here in the weekly chart. You've got a little mini one that could unfold in the monthly. I am very, I have to say, I'm kind of cautious. We are, we, we've raised cash. We've got out of a lot of positions. We've got a couple of core positions. One of ours made an all-time high today. Uh, one is a little bit under the all-time high. But at the same time, I make mistakes. So we had beautiful entry on one of the one of the leading sectors uh, yesterday, and I made the stop. I didn't. I should never have done that. I made it just a little tighter than I than I had initially said I would make it, and if that was the exact low. And then it took us out, and boom! I didn't get. I could. Have, we had opportunities to get back in today quite nicely. I didn't take it, and now this very sector is up almost four and a half percent. Uh, the, the position that we would have had. Well, that happens, but we've also got spectacular gains. So I have to just say, in the pot, in the in the smuggest board of positions, what can I do? You just do your best. So the XLB, very careful. Now I didn't finish. I did the IWM. I wanted to show you. Let me go back again. So gold is now down six and a half. Silver is down 
at SI. It's a continuous contract, SI. There's your dreaded H pattern. There's the falling axe formation. What is that in the Chapman Wave methodology? It's this particular pattern here where instead of going up with a Chapman Wave falling axe uh, pattern, I've just reversed it upside down. Look, here it is. Here it is on the upside where you're going to higher highs and you suddenly stop, come down, you make lower lows and much lower lower highs and much lower lows find support break the break the downtrend line and you can get a one-to-one -to, -one to the upside well if you look at it the other way around um, you got this upside down i just took the same chart and look even the lettering's upside down it comes down starts to make higher highs and much higher lows and much higher highs stalls and then all of a sudden for the chapman wave dreaded H formation at a peak A or B, that's where you can get the deepest decline. But when you go all the way to a peak A, P, B, C, and D, you can pull back, but it's that usually it holds the left side low. If it doesn't, that's serious stuff because you've got the dreaded H. Well, lo and behold, we had, I've been discussing this for weeks. You've got the upside down. Let me make this blue so that you can really see it. Blue, there it is, a little thicker. And there it is. You've got yourself an upside down falling X and you've gone more than one to one to the downside. You're holding the left side low. What is the left side left side on silver? Uh, this is the continuous contract. I wonder if the SLV, if I finished note. Oh, yep, I died. Uh, so I made a phantom peak to get you to a D, and you've gone way below the left side low. So this is dreaded H, unsuccessful because it didn't hold. This is not good. And now you've got, remember I drew this the other day, the Chapman Wave parallel ex expansion. One to one, look, the same angle, but it started to extend, but it went to the same price. The price that I'm looking at in silver is 20.67. That's the SLV, the Silver Trust. That's the level it has to hold in this at 20.81 right now. It's almost there. Oh, but the on-balance volume says it's getting a little bit oversold. You could have a bit of a bounce. So that's that. Look at high-grade copper. High-grade copper is pulling back today. Uh, it's down 0 0.02 at 4.260. Um, it went to a peak C, turned around. This is also, you know, oh, I'm getting a little cautious here. Everything, this is, I was saying wood and um, copper holding nicely. That's the iShares, the Timber and Forestry ETF Global. Uh, we're holding, let's see where that is. Uh, yep, peak D pullback. Uh, yeah, in the Chapman Wave methodology, how many hundreds, not hundreds, how many thousands, not thousands, how many tens of thousands of times in the almost 20 years that I've been here have you seen at peak D where serious things, there's your peak D in the weekly chart of wood, the iShares at 98.98, making a cup formation and then it fails. Now that uh, that cup is going to turn into an arch. That's what the market's about all the time. Either you're going straight up or straight down or you're making couple or uh, arch formations. So I'm, yeah, at any point we should get a balance in the market, but so far they, they aren't holding, and that's really the big issue. So with that said, I wanted to go to, oh, I haven't finished, TLT. TLT is, there it is, down today, down a dollar. Now, usually when the market is soft like this, you get money flowing from equities pulling back into the safety of bonds. We're not getting that. Spoke to a person uh, yesterday, one of the uh, top bond people in the country. Um, and he says uh, he doesn't see the, the, the tenure breaking uh, out uh, to, to highs. Um, at this point, he says, I don't know how the Fed will allow it. Anyway, at this particular point, you've got yields rallying some. So let's look at the TNX to see if he's right. So, you know, he's not always right. Uh, yeah, the TNX is breaking. It's about, there's that pattern. We were just looking at it. What was the chart that I was asked about? wasn't Fang, it was the other one. So I'll have to go back to see. Oh, we've got Rob in Michigan. Rob, how are you? Sorry, I didn't You're see well, you. Basil, how, are, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Um, and and I, I, I apparently, miss, I'm on the road, so I missed the beginning, and apparently you just covered the IWM. So I'll have to go okay. back and listen to it. But um, I was long the VIX. Um, closed it earlier in the week in light of the S&P getting closer to their moving average. But right. I'm looking to go short again. Um, but like I said, the S&P worries me we're probably due for a bounce and was intrigued by where the IWM is right now. So let me do a couple of things. Number one is when our, um, when our thinking, are you able to hold on? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Okay, so when our thinking says one thing and the chart says another, objectivity 
is the most important thing. You, we're all thinking that there should be a balance. The market doesn't know what we're thinking. The market's coming down, but the IWM is holding better. So I'll talk about it as soon as we return. We're on with Robin Michigan looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back. Just for this last segment, I was going to spend some time on this because I had a question about Chapman Wave and the Fed. Uh, look, this is from 1929, the weekly chart. I can do this on the day. This made that peak D right there in 1928, pulls back, had a spectacular move to a peak E at 286, all-time high, Chapman Wave peak E. I mean, I don't know, Fed Schmidt, this is what the Chapman Wave tries to do all the time. Now let's try to do the same thing. We're going to go back to Rob. So we're looking at the IWM. So it's failed to cross for four, five, six seven for eight days it's not being able to cross and hold above the nine and 14 period moving averages this is not a good sign so to go short at this particular time would you go three to th would you go on the three times short how would you short it uh yeah i would probably go we would leverage yes so the only way I could do it right now, because it's had a pretty steep uh, decline from 229 down to the 219 level, um, uh -huh. I would, you could start just a small position, but that isn't your real position. That's just a teaser to say, well, uh, let's see what happens. It obviously looks so you like... Think it could, a, you think a balance of potential as well with the Russell as well? So you, what I wanted to say is that if it's able to close above two 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 three, it's a two two one seventy six right now. That'll be the first time in a while that it's 
closed above the 9 and 14 period moving averages, and that would allow it maybe another couple of days to do that. But if it doesn't okay. do that, and in fact, by either the end of the day or all of a sudden on Monday, is trading at 220 or lower, then you kind of missed a good opportunity. So I'm going to suggest it's a three times short. Don't get carried away. If you make money, okay. that's fantastic. But you don't, to lose money, it's so quick that it can just turn on you. So just start a small position in the TZA. TZA is trading right now at, um, there it is. TZA is trading at 30.26. It's made a peak B. Just to start a position. You can even add to it if it starts to push higher. But don't get too careful. Oh, Jimmy Boston, sorry. I'm gonna thank you for calling. Uh, Jimmy Boston. Okay, take care. Have a good weekend, Thank you. XAP is also coming down. Be very careful. Uh, I'll do that tomorrow. XAP. Have a great weekend, folks. Stay tuned for great programming coming.